Hey guys, it's Nicole here from Bake to Jour and welcome to Troubleshooting Tuesday. Today's topic is on croissants. I frequently get asked about the structure of baker's croissants. I had one person message me saying, I have this beautiful honeycomb structure in my croissants, but it's just so dense. What could be the problem? So let's get into what could cause your croissants to end up being dense and not that light and airy breakfast pastry that you desire. So the first thing that could be going wrong is that your yeast isn't working properly. So you could either have old yeast that isn't going to be activated anymore, or if you're using an active dry yeast where you have to get to a certain temperature to activate your yeast, make sure you do that per instructions, or else you could have a super dense result because you haven't gotten it to start eating and feeding and when the yeast feed that's when your product grows so make sure you have yeast that is working and within its expiration date i like to keep my yeast in the fridge once i open the big packet of the sack instant yeast to extend its shelf life if you know your yeast is working perfectly and that's not your issue then we could have an issue of not proofing long enough so the proofing process is when all that air gets inside of your breakfast pastry before you bake it and it grows about one and a half its size from when you have first initially shaped your croissant. Make sure that you're seeing a difference and that your croissants are growing before you bake them to ensure once baked they will be that light and fluffy pastry that you desire. If you know that you are proofing so long and that that shouldn't be your issue, then you could be over proofing. If you overproof, your whole croissant could collapse in the oven or while you're egg washing it. So that is also an issue. You have to find that sweet spot of how to proof those croissants. And if you check out my tutorial on croissants, hopefully that can help guide you in the right direction. So those three factors could be your issue if you're experiencing super dense croissants. We got yeast might not be active, you're underproofing or you're overproofing. So here's to hoping you guys find that sweet spot, great yeast, and you have great luck the next time you put all that effort into your croissants. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next week on Troubleshooting Tuesday.